until not long ago. The only way to play Sacred Online was using software like Hamachi, Rodmin VPN or similar. This type of programs simulate a local network or LAN over the internet, so you can host a LAN server and you and your friends can join it together. The problem is that this type of software requires a lot of configuration. It is often not compatible with the game or the operating system and involves a way too much trial and error in order to make it work. But all of this has come to an end. A loyal member of the sacred community under the name of Cryotech has created a software that allows the user to host online servers. The thing is, this software behaves the same way as the old official Ascaron servers, so any user will be able to connect to the server by just modifying the game's setting file without the need of install any external software. Currently, the community servers are being hosted by Cryotech, so it's possible that the public IP of these servers will change or disappear over time. That is why in order to follow the steps in this video, I recommend you to copy the information from the description of this video, instead of copy the information from the video itself. I will update the description of this video with any new IP or any change as much as possible. That being said, in order to play online without any external software, go to the sacred installation folder and open the settings file with the notepad. Find these lines and replace them with the information of the description of this video. If you are using the Steam version, do the same with the Steam settings file. After replacing the lines, save the changes and open the game. Now you are ready to play online with your friends. In the main menu, go to multiplayer, click on open internet, create an account if you want or type any random username and password and click on logon. Select your character or create a new one. Now you will see all the different rooms available. Each one represents a specific game mode, version and difficulty. Find the one that best suits your character and your gameplay. Click on join and start the game. By modifying the settings file, you can easily play online with your friends. But there is another way to play online. Remember when I told you to click on open internet? Playing on open internet means that your characters are stored locally on your computer. Playing on closed internet servers means that your characters will be stored on the servers. This creates a more legit and secure environment because it removes the cheating characters. So in order to play closed internet servers, you will need to download a new game client that specifically enables this mode. To download this client, I will leave a link to GitHub in the description of this video, where you can download the client that enables closed internet. I will also leave a backup link in case the official link changes or disappears. Just download it, copy and paste it into the installation folder. Remember that you have to modify the settings file with the lines in the description of this video, just like we did with the open internet. Start the game. Go to closed internet. Create an account. You don't have to type any email and you will be ready to play. Finally, if at any point the servers are gone, there is always the option to host your own server. 
For this, I will leave a GitHub link in the description of this video, where you can download Lobby Server, the software created by Cryotech that allows you to host servers over internet. Extract the file and open the config file to set up your server. Change this as you wish. On your router, set port forward 7066 TCP so your lobby can be accessible and run the lobby server. Finally, Go to the sacred installation folder and open the game server configuration file with notepad. Change these lines and port forward 2006 TCP for the game server if you are hosting over internet. Run game server, choose internet and click on OK. So yeah, that's all. Thanks to Clone for helping me record this video, and thanks to Cryotech for such an amazing software. And yeah, thank you, thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next time.